Okay, I'm going to make a make a video here showing how uh, we compare frac compare numbers, uh, do number comparisons in third grade. So uh, I'm going to start with this problem right here, A, and it says which of the following statements correctly compares the numbers. So whenever we're comparing numbers, we we'll always look at the largest place value first. We're going to look at uh, each one of these comparisons and uh, either prove them right or prove them wrong. So I'm going to start in the thousands place, and each one has a one in the thousands place. So I need to go ahead and look further into the number. I'm going to look at the hundreds place next. That one has a five. That one has a four. That one has a three. I'm going to circle the one that's larger. So 500 is greater than 400. So that comparison is true. So I need to look at the other part of the comparison. Okay, I'm going to look at the 400 and the 300. 400 is larger, so I'm going to circle the 4, and that makes that comparison symbol true too, because 400 is greater than 300. So that looks like that may be correct. I like to put an M there. Some people put a question mark. Either one would work. So I'm going to look at the number in B. Looks like all the digits in the thousands places are 1, so I need to look at the hundreds place next. That one has a 5, that one has a 4, and that one has a 3. 500 is a greater number, and it says 500 is greater than 400. That's correct. So I need to look at the second part of it. Okay, on the second part, I have a 4 in the hundreds place and a 3 in the hundreds place. 4 is greater than 300. So that makes this comparison incorrect because it's saying that 400 is less than 300, and that's not correct. I'm going to put a line through that one and put a line through B. That comparison is incorrect. So on C, go look at the thousands place. And in that number, or these numbers, they all have a one in the thousands place. Look at the hundreds place next. Five, four, three. The five is greater. I'm going to circle that. And that makes this comparison incorrect. That's an incorrect comparison. So I'm going to put a line through it, and that makes that whole statement incorrect. So I put a line through it. I don't even need to check the second part because the first part is incorrect. Look at the last one, D. I have a one in the thousands place on all of my numbers. So I need to go ahead and look at the hundreds place next. I have a four, a five, and a three. 500 is greater. So I'm going to look at this comparison. So it's saying that 400 is greater than 500. That is not true. That comparison is incorrect. So that makes answer choice D incorrect. So I can go ahead and go back and uh, I look at all my comparisons. And uh, out of all the comparisons, they were all incorrect except for A. So I'm going to choose A as being correct. So the, uh, answer, the correct answer choice on this would be A.